Meanwhile, Director General of the Ghana Health Service says his outfit will soon introduce proposals on funerals as part of strategies to prevent a third wave of COVID-19 in Ghana. Dr. Patrick Kumwabwaje says a third wave is imminent if the current spate of holding social events without regards to COVID safety protocols continues. Here's Ohim Interior's report. Ghana has, as at July 17, 2021, recorded a total of 99,734 COVID-19 positive cases with 817 deaths. The country's active case count of 3,466 leave health authorities worried. Director General of Ghana Health Service has been explaining why the country is experiencing an upsurge in cases since December. The emergence of new variants with high infectivity further complicates the currently observed and currently non-observed observed non-adherence to COVID-19 safety protocols. Other threats include the outbreak of cases in the neighboring countries, surges in Ashanti and Greater Accra, which is the main hotspot in Ghana, low vaccination coverage um, so far, and the entry of the Delta variant into the Ghana, and, the, and, most, and lastly, but not the least, outbreaks in some of our schools. The threat of a third wave in Ghana is very real. Dr. Kuman Puaji says a new proposal on funerals is being developed to curb the spread of coronavirus through social events. He spoke to the media at the end of a two-day high-level strategic meeting on COVID-19 in Kumasi. As part of our pro the protocols that have been designed, uh, includes how funerals, etc., should be organized. And just like the protocol, I think it's... Um, it's, been, uh, it's not been adhered to, not just by one group of people, but clearly many people, many people are doing that. We are in discussions coming up with a proposal that limits the spread, that makes it safer, and whilst people still go ahead and have um, a funeral, we, we think that is such uh, a deep cultural thing that it is not something you can just wish away. And so we have a draft uh, protocol that we are sharing to ensure that how do we ensure that we still have our funerals in safety. According to Dr. Kuma Bwaje, Ghana's health system has some inherent strength with the training of critical staff and increase of treatment centers from 2 to 70 since 2020. He, however, says a third wave of COVID-19 is imminent if the attitude of the citizenry remains unchanged. The rise in cases is of concern to the Ghana Health Service and this necessitated the strategic meeting of senior managers and our partners to address the increase in these cases. Our current system has some adherent, inherent strengths. Capacity for case management has been strengthened with an increase in the number of treatment centers from two to about 70 currently uh, with a treatment center in each region. And training of critical care staff and, uh, and the provision of equipment has also been implemented. The establishment of the Ghana Infectious Disease Center is one. The establishment of the data collection a robust laboratory capacity from two in the early 2000, 2020 to 400 uh, total currently. We also have a capacity for genomic sequencing as a country. However, all this capacity can be overwhelmed if we do not avert a third wave, especially driven by a Delta variant, which is highly transmissible. Meanwhile, Ghana Health Service has been outlining some measures to tackle COVID-19 upsurge in the country. We want to mobilize all our opinion leaders, our religious leaders, traditional leaders, key influencers, etc., in putting in place contextual risk communication messages for local for locations such as schools and workplaces. We will continue to scale up our testing capacity for COVID-19. We will scale up the use of antigen testing. Antigen testing will be used as part of our rapid response in locations where there are outbreaks such as schools, workplaces, and points of entry. That's our borders, our ports, etc. 
We will strengthen our contact tracing and quarantine isolation. On the areas of vaccine, the importance of vaccine in limiting the transmission cannot be overemphasized. Ghana is increasing its capacity to handle different brands of vaccines, including those that require ultra cold storage facilities. Ghana is trying to source small vaccines to cover as many people as possible, and we will be prioritizing uh, hotspot areas, districts, high, uh, highly populated areas, and at risk groups that is persons over 60 and above. Despite all these efforts, vaccine hesitancy needs to be tackled so as to ensure the maximum vaccine uptake when the vaccines are available. From Kumasi, for Joy News, Oyuntiria reporting.